what's going on everyone inkaholic here and today we are at the new location of the new house and i decided to work on a tree farm uh last episode we finished up the gold farm down in the nether and i was uh tossing back and forth the idea of where I wanted to put the tree farm. I knew I wanted to build one, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to build it here or in the nether. And as you can tell, I voted for here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've got my trees located where I wanted them to go. And so I'm going to basically be using the same wood that I used to uh, when I when I chop them down to build this um, little structure here, and the whole purpose of the structure is is that now since they've added, uh, you know, I'm using oak trees here, and oak trees used to grow but so tall, but then they changed them, you know, a couple of updates ago to getting these sideways logs and they grow massive now you know they, they have a chance of it they don't do it every single time but the whole thing with building this little structure here was to do like i just did basically go up top and just come right down on top of the trunk and um knock them down and that way i don't have to be standing underneath it and you know um chopping the wood up and not being able to reach every single piece so here i can limit what you know how tall it gets and um just go straight down and get every single log so you know it, I don't know, it might be a good idea it might be a bad idea it's just something i had in my head so you know we'll just see how it goes and uh all in all, I got eight apples out of it, and that's what my main thing is. It's not so much getting the wood, it's getting the apples. So, Now, obviously, the whole little staircase that I built there was just temporary. I come over here to a jungle biome to gather some vines. So I went ahead and made some shears up, and I'm going to be cutting these vines down. And uh, I'll be... Actually, you'll see in a little while, I... I I kind of built it wrong, so I had to re, uh, I had to basically knock a little bit down. I built it a little bit too wide, uh, but I changed it up a little bit, put up some pillars, um, near the trees, and, um, you know, shortened up the glass a little bit and just kind of made it symmetrical. I wasn't really paying attention, it was just kind of a flyby thing that I was building, so. I uh, wanted to get some vines to hang up because I, I want to use vines instead of just ladders. Uh, you know, the vines will look good in there with the trees and stuff. So, um, well, while I was here in the jungle biome, I ran into the temple. Now, here's the funny thing. Does that look like a temple to you? Mm, no, it looks like about half of one, right? Well, as I walk around the corner, I see the other half below. For some odd reason like it didn't you know it, it placed the temple in this random location on this map but it didn't place it all together it's broken up into about three different parts so this is this is a first i, have, I haven't seen this before and uh it's really really weird i'm trying to locate the the oh, there's the the tripwire, and I'm trying to remember how the layout of these temples go. There's tripwire when you walk into the room because there's a dispenser that shoots at you, and there's some kind of um, switches that you flip that opens up a trap door that allows you to get to uh, a little secret chest that's in there. So. This is really, really odd. <laughs> I mean, and for anybody that thinks that, you know, this is fake, by all means, I will be glad to give you the seed number. <laughs> uh, I'm now in the third part that's way down at the bottom of this hill. And as you can see, it's like all full of stone on the on the inside of it. So, in, in the front of this was... Um, was the uh, step 
uh, where like you would, this would be the front door where you would walk in and the steps would go right down where the stone is. So I remember that, you know, on the side of the steps is where the little chest is and lo and behold, there it is, you know. So this is just extremely odd. Get some vines here. And all this work for some flesh and some bones. And I've already got a full inventory, so let's see what I can get rid of here real quick. Uh, get rid of some seeds here. I do want these pistons and basically all the redstone stuff I want. Um, trying to see what I can get. I don't need these. Don't need that. Alright, let's see here. Pick up these pistons here. Sticky pistons at that. I mean, who doesn't want some of those? I don't even have a slime farm yet. My house is next to a slime chunk, by the way. That was kind of like one of the big sell points on the location that I picked for my house was that I actually went and looked up the seed number on the slime finder app and found a huge, huge, huge slime chunk that's kind of right next to the house there and I was very excited because I don't want um, I don't want to repeat what I did like last year or not last year but um, my first LP um, my slime farm that I had was like over 500 blocks away from my house I had to take a you know a mine cart to get there and it was just ridiculous I mean it was nice but it was just it was too far away so uh, here I am digging this out because, you know, where the switches were, you walked around the corner in, in the opposite direction, and there was the other chest with the dispensers, and I'm trying to locate it, and I'm not having any luck. Oh, there it is. Okay, good deal. Man, this is just, it's so weird. I've never seen a structure you know split up like this this is so this is really strange so um i don't even think yeah the redstone's not activated on this one because that was up on the first level i think first or second level it wasn't on this level so i'll go ahead and take these dispensers too because i might find a use for those a little later uh what can i get rid of now um, hmm. Well, get rid of this and that. There we go. Alright, so I want to pick up the redstone. And there's the chest with some bones in it. Man, because I couldn't get lucky and have like diamonds in it or nothing. That'd been nice. Oh, that one still works. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get rid of him. And uh, pick up this redstone. Bunch of mossy cobblestone, too. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I'll take a little bit of it with me. And I'm not even sure about using this tripwire, but I'll, like I said, I'll just go ahead and take it anyway. So, uh, do I want the string? I don't need levers. I can make those all day long. Those are easy enough. Uh, let me get this dispenser. And I think we are done here, I believe. Let's, uh, let's head on out of here. This is so odd. <laughs> well, I found the the desert temple, but it was all in one piece. So here's the revised version. Um, I put torches everywhere. Um, put torches up top. Got torches on the inside, and I actually elevated the trees because I actually had, as you'll see here in a minute, that I had a tree grow through the actual glass, like the little slot that. I'm supposed to jump through the tree grew through it so I don't know if this design is gonna absolutely work for me or not I may have to 
go back and change it up a little later on, but uh, we'll just have to see. Yeah, there it is. So what I want to do is I'll place vines here at the top. I tried to put some down at the bottom, but I couldn't reach all the way. So I decided to come up top here and just put some vines at the top and they'll eventually grow down and uh, probably grow across the wall a little bit. And just think it'll add a little something extra in here instead of just all oak. You know, I don't really care for the oak that much, but it is the only tree that produces apples. So that'll be the one that I'll be using. and. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be be all right. You know, I know they got some fancy, you know, automatic tree thingamajiggers with pistons and takes all the leaves off and you know just craziness nonsense. And I just don't need anything like that. This this will get me where I need to be, I guess. You know, gather a couple apples and gather a little bit of gold from the Nether and the gold farm and make me some golden apples and we'll be happy from there. So. All right, well, I guess I'll just wrap it up right here. Um, guys, it's been Inkaholic, and uh, this is how to make a piss-poor tree farm. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode, guys, and I will see you then, okay? Take care.